It was a day many former Marines and their families have been looking forward to for nearly half a century now as the first status hearing for Camp Lejeune toxic water lawsuits was held in court this afternoon. Victims of the past water contamination say that the highly anticipated hearing held under the Camp Lejeune Justice Act of 2022 was aimed to simply hold the government accountable for thousands of lives affected and those lost. Longtime Camp Lejeune advocates like retired Marine Jerry Ensminger and Mike Partain were in Raleigh today where the milestone hearing happened and gave the media some insight afterwards on what was discussed. Jalen Holloway has been closely following this throughout the afternoon and is live now with more in-depth details surrounding the hearing. Jalen. Well, Dave, many may say the days of Camp Lejeune victims being silenced and completely ignored might be long gone after today's first court hearing. Research anticipates that 1 million toxic water cases might be getting fouled whenever this process is all over, which some say shows just how detrimental of a time this was for our country. It's been a long time coming for victims of contaminated water at Camp Lejeune who fought to have their voices heard over the last four decades. We're at the end of our struggle now. Wednesday was a monumental step as many gathered in Raleigh for the first status hearing about the hundreds of thousands of expected toxic water claims. During the hearing, advocates like retired Marine Jerry Ensminger spoke on behalf of his daughter Janie, who he says died from the past contaminated water in 1985. They took its toll on me. Ensminger expressed frustration afterwards, saying that he doesn't believe some fully understand just how many families have been turned upside down from Camp Lejeune. Some victims are hoping for a settlement, but not Mike Partan, who says he battled male breast cancer after being born on the base. I mean, honestly, there is no amount of money that the government could compensate me to, to uh, to compensate for what I've been through, what my family's been through. The PACT Act signing in 2022 opened the door for victims to receive that compensation. But Ensminger says there are several tier one cases that are undisputable and still haven't been settled. And I think the Department of the Navy is reluctant to do that because they don't want to look like, you know, they're guilty. Wednesday's hearing is only the beginning of a long process a process in which Partan says the judge compared to one of the most iconic periods. If all these cases have to go through the courts, that will be here about as long as the Roman Empire existed before they're all resolved. Now lawyers working closely with the case say that the government has admitted to some faults surrounding Camp Lejeune's past water contamination. And Partan says he just prays that nobody ever has to go through something like this again, Dave. All right, thanks, Jalen. And knowing that it could take a long time to hear many of those expected cases, the judge today asked lawyers and the government if they could find a way to streamline the process to get relief for the victims.